I wanted to make a really quick video and show this really cool tool simulation option that's inside of GibbsCam. It's for simulating and verifying tool paths before we go ahead and post them and send them out to the machine. Um, when I was in the shop, I did a lot of multi-axis milling and verification was very important uh, for checking tool path, make sure all my retracts are correct, um, all of my cutter comp and all that other stuff was working, things like that. So we all know that in Gibbs, we can come here to my simulation and we can just do an operation sim. Let me rewind that and play it. Great, that's a pocket. But what this doesn't do is it show, doesn't really show me the rest of the part, how this particular tool path uh, interacts with uh, bosses or um, other parts of my stock. So, you know, this is a really basic example. You can imagine if we're doing a more complex three axis part or even five axis or mill turn for sure, um, it becomes really, really important. So what I wanted to show, and I also wanted to see really the tool path on this. I wanted to see the actual line, the center line of the cutter on the part. So there's a couple ways to do it. I mean, I could create another solid and make it um, for display only for simulation. But, you know, I, I just want to check this one tool path. I just want it quick and easy. So I'm going to show you how to do that. If I come over here and I'm going to hold down the left mouse button. The third one down is this thing called tool sim. So if I just click it right now without selecting the part, I'm going to get the stock. So that's the size of my stock. And now I'm going to slow it down a little bit. I'm going to play it and it shows me the outline of my tool path. Okay. It's okay. It's fine. But really I want to see the part. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select the part first, the whole select, not a face, but the whole part. And now I'm going to go ahead and do tool simulation. And now I can see that tool path on the part itself okay there's a couple other sliders here so this is the speed control this is kind of a coarse movement so i can move it back and forth and kind of see and walk it through all of its retracts all that other stuff and this is a little this is called a fine movement and we'll see that in a second there's more tool path you can do it just in little sections and the display we can only do we can do like five percent of the tool path as it moves around you know, if there's too much toolpath, I mean, this is a really little step over three axis toolpath. You may not want it to, you may not want to see all the toolpath. Uh, you can also do 1% or no trace at all, which will just show the tool moving around. All right. But what I want to do is I'm going to say trace all, and I'm going to go ahead and play this. So what we can see here is let me back this up just a little bit. Let's say for instance, on this, this last move, how, how would I use this? Let's go ahead and look at the top view of this. If I zoom in here and I turn off my tool holder, I can actually see the relationship between the tool and the wall. So you can see that it's going machining right to that right to that wall there. I mean, this is a really good way to check clearances um, or stock being left over, things like that. So this is fine. It's a really simple two axis tool path. So let's talk about what happens if I add more tool path to this part and how I can use this. So I'm just going to go ahead and create this tool path here. And you can see now I've got a bunch of different pockets and you know, really what I'm, I'm concerned about this hole in here, you know, for some reason, I'm just, I don't know if it's right. You know, the lead in looks a little wonky. You know, I don't have enough. I put an arc lead in, there wasn't enough room for an arc lead in on this. I just want to make sure that it's correct. So a couple things in Gibbs, I don't know if you know this, so you can hit redraw and it will redraw. You can see I'm highlighting each operation and it'll highlight each operation. The shortcut for that is Control R is redraw. Now, if I hold down Control R and I click on these, you can see just by doing Control, it's gonna select all of them until I get the right one. So it's actually this one, Control R, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do, oop, I went a little bit too fast there. Let me back up and select that part. So now I'm going to select this right here that says skip unselected op. So it's only going to show me that tool path for that operation for the one that, that is selected. And then there it is. So now I can go ahead and do my course run through. And here's where that fine one comes into play. You can see as it goes around, that's good. You can see that I've got a little straight lead in. 
I'm going to look at a top view of this, make sure that it's hitting the, the wall okay. It sure is. Let's go back and fit it. So again, if you would like to see the tool path on the part um, for verification, it's up here in simulation and it is tool sim. Just one note, remember, you have to select the part, otherwise you're just going to see the stock block. And that might be okay, I mean, if you wanna see this. So if you have any questions about tool path verification, simulation, or um, shortcut keys, just go ahead and give your reseller a call or give Gibbs Camp Tech Support a call. Thank you.